If you are using Google Classroom, there are two extensions, in my opinion, that you have to install into your Chrome browser. So here I am in my Chrome browser. I'm actually in Classroom right now. The way that I would install an extension is by opening a new tab. And then since I'm signed into Chrome, my apps are just right there. But if you're not signed in, the URL is just chrome.google.com and then it should open up the web store for you. I'm going to search right here for my two extensions. One of them is called Add to Classroom. Okay, the other one that I want to get is Share to Classroom, so I'm going to install them both. I'm just going to click where it says Add to Classroom and then tell it yes, add the extension. And you can see it's right up here now. And now I'm going to go do the same thing in Chrome, excuse me, down here with Share to Classroom. I'm going to add that. And now I've got that icon. Okay, so I'm going to close this and show you what these mean. So Add to Google Classroom means that if I am on a website here, if I click on this, it is going to add it to my class. So here's my class. I have this assignment right here, the vacation flyer, and here's the assignment that's the favorite tech tool. If I click on this site right here, and let's say that I want to share this link with my students, I'm just going to click Add to Classroom. and then I should be able to choose my classroom here. So here it is, I'm gonna choose my class, it's this one. And I want to, I can either create an assignment with it or I can make an announcement. Since I just want my students to go to this link, I'm going to make that an announcement and just tell it to go. Okay, just type in what I want them to do with it and then I can post it or save it. I'm just going to click post and now it says my stream was updated. I'll click show and then there it is. The other way that I could have done something similar was right here where it says share to classroom instead of add to classroom. It's going to list all of my classes so I would just click on that and where it says push to students, if I click push, then all of my students are going to have this window open up on their computers. It's basically me taking over their computer and saying, I want you to go here. So this is great unless the kids are not in my class whenever I push this. So you do need to make sure that you have your kids separated by the times that they are in your classroom because if they are with another teacher and you click push to the class that they're in, their computers will be changed to the site that you want them to go to. So that's just a little bit of a management thing that you need to be aware of. But this can make a huge difference, um, a big, big time saver. So make sure that you install both of these extensions and then use them however you see fit.